It is time once again for the Advent Cardinder. I, I, I'm i starting to regret that word now because it's hard to pronounce and it isn't actually a word, but hey, I've stuck with it because my previous two videos are called that. So today is day three of the most festive month of the year, December. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, draw it on again. I've got a box full of cards. I'm going to dive my hand into there. I'm going to pick out a pack and open it. Kind of like an advent calendar, but it's full of cards instead. Today, ooh, today we have a Beyblade pack. All right then. So, as you can see, it is the trading card. Six packs, five regular, one foil. Uh, actually, the back, I believe, said something really interesting. Aha, this is the one. So it mentions a mini album, and this is the most Beyblade kind of thing I've ever read. Each mini-album comes complete with pocket pages to prevent your cards from spinning off. How does that even work, my dudes? It's their cards. But anyway, as you can see here, there are 72 basic cards to collect, plus uh, every card comes in a foil variety as well. Um, and obviously the front mentions you can get one foil and five cards, uh, regular cards. So, the reason I bought this um, is because years ago, in the store, when I was a kid, when the Beyblade anime had just come out, I bought a pack of these, and they were the coolest thing ever. I was like, yo, when I go into town next to my parents, I'm definitely going to buy another one, and I never saw them again, like, ever. Um, they're not exactly the most common cards, I guess. I don't think they sold very well. These were, like, £3.50 a pack, so... Hoping I get some pretty good ones. So... We're just going to start. Um, for those of you who've never seen Beyblade, you're missing out. Alright, let's begin. Max. So he had... Dra no, not Dranza. Yeah, was it? No. Trans. Ah, man, it's been years since I've seen the Beyblade anime. Also, I believe on the back. There we go. We got some facts about him, and it is actually... Alas, it does not mention the name of his Beyblade, but this is number seven, and this is Cards, Inc. There we are, if anyone's interested. So, we've got Max. Aha, now, uh, Trigator tri um, is the card I pulled before that I had a hollow of. Yeah, or a foil, if you want to call it that, I suppose. That is number 29, very nice. So that's a double, technically. Aha, Master Dragoon. Now, Dragoon was, what, Tai? No, his name's not Tai. What was his? Tyson. That was Tyson's Beyblade, as you can see it there, kind of on its side. So, Dragoon is out. was the first Beyblade I ever bought. Ah. Uh, so, these are the stats of the Beyblade. Very nice. I'm sure some people play this card game against each other. Probably not many people. But, hey, we've got Trigal. Um... It's an eagle, I guess, or a phoenix, maybe. Those are the stats there. That the owner's name is Michael. It's from the All Stars with a Z. All right, last, last few Wolfborg. No, sorry, Wolborg. I misread that. Though it is a wolf, so that's kind of cool. We see the hollow. Uh, I don't recognise who the hell that was, but okay. The Demolition Boys. Why is there no Z for that one? And uh, Tala is this guy's one. And the last one is Rob, Ro Robin? Robert. Okay, Robert, sorry. That looked like Robin for a second. Well, this is quite the hollow to get. Um, he is from the Majestics. That's, that's his um, stuff at the back there, if anyone's interested. Well, these uh, these cards were exactly what I expected. Are they the coolest cards ever? Not necessarily. But these do, unironically, kind of mean a lot to me. Because I never got to open them as a kid. And they're not going to be of any value, but there we are. Let's have one more look at Robert before we go. Alright, we've had a long enough look now. Right, well that wraps up day three of my Advent Cardinder. Stay tuned, because I'll be putting up one tomorrow, because that's how the days work. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Right, well, see you guys tomorrow.